In today's video I show you two anatomical variants in a hip that you should not mistake as a pathology. The first one is a supraacetabular fossa and the second one is a superior acetabular roof notch. This is a classic example of a supraacetabular fossa. It's always located here in the middle of the joint at the most superior portion of the acetabular roof and if you look at the sagittals it's basically at the 12 o'clock position if you use the clock method here. There are two different types described in the literature, a type 1 which is filled with fluid and a type 2 which is filled with cartilage, such as in this case. However, if you observe several patients over a long period of time, you can sometimes see that a type 1 fossa eventually becomes a type 2 supraacetabular fossa. So it eventually will fill up with cartilage. That's at least one of the newer theories. It's a normal variant and it's present in up to 10% of all hip exams. Be very careful not to call this a osteochondral defect or osteochondrosis dissecans or any other pathology because it's just a normal variant. Now the second variant that I'm going to show you is the superior acetabular roof notch. It's at a similar location but in contrast to the supraacetabular fossa it's located more medially. The supraacetabular fossa is more here at the 12 o'clock position while this is slightly off center. It's a finger like finding. It can be filled with fat most of the time or even fluid and it's going from medially to supralaterally, like in this case. If you only look at the sagittal, it can look like a supracetabular fossa, so always make sure to correlate it with your coronal views. And in that case, it's a normal variant, it's not a pathology, it's not a residual finding after a fracture or anything like that. Just a normal variant. Really? I found an interesting paper that I'm going to show you at the end of this video. This is another case with a superior acetabular roof notch here. It's much smaller this time, but again, it's not really in the middle of the roof. It's slightly more medially and it's going from medial to supralateral in this direction again. The prevalence of the superior acetabular roof notch on radiographs has been reported as 17% for men and around 22% for women. I published this review article on hip imaging in athletes in the sports imaging series in radiology. Uh, it was a few years back. I put the link to this review article down in the description. It's a very nice overview over sports imaging or sports injuries at the hip. So make sure you check it out. It's freely available on the radiology homepage. And during the preparation for that review article, I came across a very interesting study that I'm going now to show you. The article that I found during the preparation for that review article was this one here by Maffart, and the title is Description, Significance and Frequency of the Acetabular Crease of the Hip Bone. That study was published in the International Journal of Osteoarchaeology. So it's uh, not very your typical journal for a radiologist, but nevertheless, I found the study very interesting and also the conclusion that they came up with. And let me explain. So what they did, they looked at over 400 hip bones and assessed the presence of the superior acetabular roof notch in that sample. So the bones in their study were dated um, from the 11th to 13th century and the second sample from the 16th to 17th century. The prevalence of the superior acetabular roof notch in this French historic sample of dry bone specimens was 11.8% and it was much lower than a reported prevalence of up to 43.4% in a prehistoric native Canadian sample. And the authors of this archaeological study then assumed that eventually environmental factors and living conditions were a possible explanation like greater mechanical stress in childhood combined with probably less favorable nutritional conditions in the prehistoric era for the Canadians compared to the French. Very interesting stuff. Unfortunately, it did not make it into the final article as you will find out if you read it. I put the link for this uh, archaeological study also down in the description if you want to read more about it. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and also give the video a like.